in this video, we are gonna talk about how to get color engraving on metal. No paints, no fillers, just using your laser to engrave metal and achieve color. Hey there, I'm Sarah, you're watching Creative Ramblings. We talk a lot about lasers on this channel, anything from really beginner review videos to in-depth tutorials like we're gonna do today. If you are a laser crafter, hit that subscribe button. You will definitely find some videos that you like here. If you are brand new to laser engraving, maybe you haven't even gotten your first laser yet and you're looking at getting into it, I have a beginner laser course available just for my YouTube members. If you hit the join button right below this video, you can see all the details on what I offer and learn how to take advantage of that beginner laser course. So today we're talking about color engraving on metal, which is something you can do with a very specific type of laser module and a specific type of metal. But it allows you to get a colorful result with any, without any paint or fillers. So we're gonna be using this right here. This is the We Create Lumos. This is a new laser. I just did a review on it. I'll link that for you if you wanna take a look at everything this laser can do. But essentially it's a dual laser, so there is a diode in there, but there is also a three watt IR module. This IR module is what we're going to use to engrave in color. So a little bit of an overview. When you use an IR module or a fiber laser or a MOPA laser, you are essentially heating up the metal and it's turning very briefly to almost a molten state when you engrave it or mark it. And when that happens, the metal oxidizes and then it solidifies and cools. In this process, the metal can change color. That's a very simplified way to explain what's happening. But the wavelength of an IR module, which is in here, this three watt IR module, or a fiber laser, which is a little bit more powerful, or a MOPA laser, which is a type of fiber laser, that particular wavelength can oxidize titanium and stainless steel in a way that gives us color. So you're gonna need an IR module, a fiber laser or a MOPA. You are going to need either titanium or stainless steel. For the project I'm doing today, I'm using stainless steel because I have a lot of it here. If you get a laser like this and you get some supplies from WeCreate, they're gonna send you, I really like their bundles with all their materials in it, and the pieces are going to be labeled. So you'll know what stainless steel is. Sometimes it's very shiny, sometimes it's matte, sometimes it's coated. You're going to wanna to run a test on each one, but you can achieve color on every type of stainless steel and titanium. I have done other color engraving videos on other lasers. What I really like about this WeCreate Lumos, the software that comes with it, it's called the WeCreate Make It software, has a process that lets you drill down colors so easily. And it really makes the process just really user-friendly overall. So I wanna walk you through that process right now and show you how to use this laser to achieve color. So I'm gonna turn it on and I am venting through a big air purifier right here. And I am gonna place a piece of stainless steel on the bed and then we'll go over to the software. All right, here we are in the We Create Make It software. Let's go up and connect our device first. Now the next thing I wanna do is come over here on the left and go to Toolbox and Color Engraving Test. This is gonna walk us through everything. We've already manually focused the dot on that piece of stainless steel. I'm gonna leave these as is. You can change the power and the speed here, but this has worked just fine for me. Now I'm gonna lift up the piece a little bit to see where my framing is. And I'm gonna just change this a little bit because I want the framing to move over so I can have enough room on here to do both the first test and the second test. So I'm happy with that. Now we're gonna send it over and let the test run. So throughout this process, it's important not to leave this screen. So that first engraving is done. We are gonna hit next step here. And now we're gonna take a look at the piece. 
So from here, we are going to figure out which color we want to explore further. And each color is identified by a number. This is later going to be called a color ID. So on here, I really think the 183 is going to be the way to go. So we're going to put this back underneath, select 183, and go to the next step. These are all great parameters. We're going to leave this as is. Okay, now we are ready to engrave this test grid here. All right, everything is done. And we're back on our main screen. Let's take a look at the colors. All right, now let's put that color engraving code to work. So I took out this piece and I put in a new stainless steel bottle opener and I'm just going to refresh. Now I'm gonna bring in an image. I am using one that came from WeCreate when I first got my machine that worked really well for color engraving. So we are gonna do this boom graphic here. I'm just gonna size it appropriately. Now over here on the right, I've got my red light selected. I'm gonna come down to color engraving. And the focal distance is on the grid as the color ID. So we did the color 183. That is our focal distance, that's our color ID. So that has to be in here. Now I'm going to select this whole thing here, come over to layers on the left. And I can shrink these layers down to three. I've got a blue, an orange, and a black. So looking at that color grid that we just did, I'm going to select the blue, come over to the right here, and I'm going to choose the appropriate power and speed that give me a really good blue. So this looks like a power of 100, a speed of 50, and then look at what your line density is set at. Mine is set at 300, yours may be different, but make sure you update that one. Then we're gonna do the same thing for orange. I'm looking at power of 100, speed of 30. Again, that line density of 300. And then finally for black, I'm thinking a power of 90 and a speed of 10. And again, that 300 there. So that should be good. I am just gonna frame this out because I like to do that to make sure everything is exactly where I want it. And now we hit start. So this is our final print right here, and it really depends on what light you're in. Some lights pick up that color really well. Other times when I look at it, it looks kind of dull. I find natural light really brings out that color. But I have a dark black, a blue, and an orange on here. This is what I ran the tests on. These all came in a pack. They're the same pack of material. So you wanna run the first test that gives you the color ID, and then you wanna break it down to get your power and speed settings. These results are going to be different for every piece of material you use. So if you have a shiny dog tag that you wanna engrave on, you're gonna to wanna to test first 
to get these results. And then you can use that to paint by number and fill in your color engraving on the thing you're actually engraving. So just keep that in mind going forward. I mentioned earlier that you can color engrave with a lot of different lasers. I have done it with the Xtool F1 Ultra using their fiber laser as well. What I really, really like about the Lumos is that the Make It software makes this easy. It, it helps you pick out the color ID. It gives you your power and speed grid. And I really like to call it paint by number because you just pick the power and speed setting, apply it to your design, and you've got color. That is something that really sets this laser apart. There's a lot of cool other things you can do with this. Again, go watch my full review on the Lumos. If you have any more questions on color engraving that I did not cover here today, be sure to let me know down in the comments. I would love to chat with you. If you like this video, if you found it helpful, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I'm here every week with new videos to help you move forward in your creative journey. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.